full inquiry is where the inspector of taxes asks to review all of the books and records underlying the return. And when I say all, I mean all. He will ask for all bank statements, all expense invoices, all sales invoices, all delivery notes, every single scrap of paper he can lay his hands on and computer records he will want to see. An aspect inquiry is where the Inland Revenue launch an inquiry asking for information on one or more aspects of a return. This may or may not consist of documentation being supplied, but it will fall short of all books and records. But it can be very, very detailed and very, very time consuming. A VAT dispute arises when VAT officers visit your premises, they look through all of your VAT records and they reach the conclusion that you haven't been declaring all your VAT correctly. This can be such things as you've zero rated something that should be standard rated. Occasionally they will carry out observation exercises on your premises. If, for example, you're in a restaurant, they may send officers in to have a meal one evening and then later on they will come back to make sure you've declared their takings. IR35 disputes are interesting. The revenue are attacking one-man service companies. Now, a one-man service company is a limited company with only one employee, and he provides his services to a contractor. And what the IR35 provisions say is that if that individual would be considered an employee of the company or of the contractor, then they want more tax out of him. You are caught under the IR35 provisions. The Special Civil Investigations Unit deals with essentially the bigger cases. The bigger technical issues will be dealt with there where there's a great deal of tax at stake and also the potential serious fraud. If you receive a letter or a client receives a letter with a Code of Practice 9 booklet, they're in trouble and they need professional help now.